Welcome to this course. In this course, you're going to be learning how to build in-app purchase for iOS users on Flutter um, application. So this is strictly for iOS um, users, not for Android. This is strictly for iOS user and it's a non-consumable um, product purchase and it's pretty straightforward and simple. Okay, so what you're going to be learning in this course is how to check if product exists and also making the purchase for the product. That is making a single purchase, one-time purchase, that is one-off payments, okay? So to get started, I'm going to show you the real-world example. So over here, we have products 1, product 2, product 3. So this product 1, let's say we have product 6666. We want to check if this product is available in our app store. So to do that, it's very simple and straightforward. So I'm going to open my real device because I'll be using real device to demo in this short video. So I'm going to um, enter the first product, which is product 6666. So I'm going to enter product underscore 6666. So I'm going to check if the product is available. So it's checking if the product is available in our store. As you can see, it says product exists in app store. So that's cool. So if product exists in our store, then we need to uh, make the purchase. So I'm going to click on buy now. And buy now is going to initialize. So why that is processing is also going to check if the product is also available. That is second step checking. Okay. So now if this loads up, then I'm going to click on purchase. Okay. So now it's um, currently processing. As you can see, the purchase is made and it's trying to validate the payment. Okay. As you can see, the payment is successful. Now as you can see, it is what purchase successful and here we have already what already purchased products which is product 666 and if you check our transaction history if i reload this page as you can see before before i reload this page we have user 999 if i reload we are going to have the new user that just make the purchase as you can see we have what user 6455 which is amazing so everything how we perform all this you are going to learn it in this course, you're going to learn how to link your product down to revenue card and from revenue card down to Android Studio. You're going to learn everything one after the other. So let's try to make purchase for the second product, which is product 3345. So I'm going to make purchase for the product 3345. So let's see, 3345. I'm going to check if the product exists. Now it says product exists and I'm going to what make the payment. So payment is processing and purchase. Now making the payment. Okay, so payment is made and it's trying to validate the payment. Okay, now it says payment is all set. Okay, now payment is successful. As you can see, we have product 3345 and all these products is retrievable. Any device you log into you'll be able to access this product so let's confirm this last receipt i'm going to reload this page and let's see if we have the receipt there as you can see user 6455 with product 3345 amazing as you can see two minutes ago few seconds ago so this is what you are going to be learning in this course okay thank you so much for taking your time to um, check out this intro video See you in the calls. Bye.